How I like to use these building materials is starting with composites. I'll go to the wall tool and I'll double click to open up the wall settings. In the wall settings, I'll start with a composite material. I'll go in and I'll choose right now wall, brick, insulation with a 2x6. We'll start with a generic residential wall. Just focusing here on the composite, staying focused on building materials. We won't go into any of the other settings right now. I will click OK and I'm going to start with a rectangular geometry method using the Black Spectacles Archicad 21 template that all of you have access to. I'll click and create a rectangular shape. As I'm drawing this now, you can see as I'm creating this, this is to a reference line side of the wall. I'll set this to 40 tab 24. So this will be 40 feet wide, 24 foot deep. And my reference line is to the outside face of stud. I'll take my slab and on my slab, I'll choose a composite here. I'll use my floor hardwood 2x10 with jip on the bottom. I'll rest on the outside face of my stud, spacebar click. Then I'll go back to my section tool here. I'll click and hold on the arrow to find my favorites and I'll click on the National CAD Standard Part Section Mark. I'll double click on that and I'll cut a section here through my building. I will then right click on my section marker and open with current view settings. You will see from here when I select my slab it's been placed where this is set up to show the reference line at the top core material. My wall is drawn to the outside face of core. So the outside face of my stud and my subfloor align here where I did the spacebar click to trace that outside face of wall. Then you will see from here that I have in this composite of my floor, I have my wood, that's my hardwood material, I have my subfloor, and I have here my wood framing members to make up my wood flooring structure. With each of these elements here, and building materials are all have their own priorities and how they're cleaning up. Something as insignificant as my drywall and my hardwood floors, how they clean up is based on those priorities. Right now, gypsum board has a higher priority than my wood flooring. If I select the wall and I select the floor, I can go in now under options and building materials. And from here, with those walls and slabs selected, I can now see in green the building materials that make up the floor and my wall. As I look at this, I will see my wood light frame horizontal, my wood light frame insulation, and then if I keep scrolling down here, I'll see gypsum board and flooring wood. The only thing that has a lower priority than my flooring wood is my airspace. Now here, if I want the gypsum board to be higher or lower, I can drag that into place, or if I want my wood flooring to be higher, I can drag that into place. Be aware that if you are using teamwork inside of ARCHICAD, make sure that you are always going to duplicate these materials. Just like building surfaces, we do not want to edit this material because it can impact others that are working on the project and there can be conflict in how that's reflecting in multiple models. Just be aware that if this is something you want to edit when working in teamwork, you always want to go to New, use Duplicate, and duplicate that. I'm going to first highlight here again my wood flooring. Here, when I have this highlighted, I'll click New. I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to call this my hardwood flooring training so that we can reference that. I'll click OK and I'll take this hardwood flooring training to a higher priority. I can just drag that and drop it. I can see right now it's 305, whereas my gypsum board is 300. As long as that number is higher than the other material, then it will show a priority in how they clean up. So right now, the hardwood flooring training building material has a higher priority than gypsum board. Currently though, flooring wood is what we're applying to our composite. So I'll click OK 
And you'll still see here that as we look at this and we have these set up, gypsum board still has a higher priority than my wood flooring. If I go back in under options, I can go to composites and open up the composite settings. But for me, it's much easier to select the one composite that I want to edit by shift clicking here. I want to shift click on my floor, then right click and open up my composite settings. So I can edit selected composite or profile. Now in the composite settings, I want to apply the new material here, which is my, again, we can search just hardwood, flooring, training. Just start typing here and it will find those for you. And before I change this, before I hit OK, you'll see gypsum board has a higher priority. You'll see that my wood flooring had a lower priority. By hitting OK now, that is now reflected to show that this is now reflecting the hardwood flooring material that has a higher priority than gypsum board. This may seem very insignificant, but what this is doing is demonstrating the power of building materials and how this can reflect when you're creating detailed building sections, wall sections, all directly driven from the model. So building materials are going to give you the level of control that you need and granularity in building your models so that you can reflect as much as possible in your construction documents. Eliminating errors and omissions in your construction document sets because those are now linked to the model.